Okay, our project today is, I've got a, an old picture frame that had a mat. Probably the, one of the least expensive picture frames you can buy. It's inexpensive because it's so shallow. I mean, it won't take, I've uh, gotten rid of the glass and it won't take anything more than, than what we've got here. You can see where the uh, pin holders were in here and I took it apart. What I want to do is show you how, despite the fact that it's old and really narrow and most framers you go to would tell you that there's no way you can turn this into a shadow box, but I'm going to show you how you can take a piece of foam core board and build yourself a, a box and actually and make yourself a, a shadow box. I've already pre-made this one, so I'm going to show you how this will actually fit together. It's going to fit together like that, and if I want to use the mat, I can, uh, it's got a mat and a backing, pull that apart. And if I want to use the mat, that's not a problem because it, it came out of there. I can easily put this on top of there. And I've got a great shadow box. The problem with this is, one, how am I going to hold this in there? And two, how am I going to keep all of this from being damaged? One thing I can do is, since I've got another mat board, the same uh, was in the frame, I can use that behind foam core and that will give it a lot more protection and stability from anything uh, coming from the back. Or I can even use the, the piece of cardboard that, that was cut, because it's, it's also the same size. It doesn't really matter. Maybe we'll use the cardboard, and that way it looks like something that you're much more familiar with. Yeah, so that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll put cardboard on the back. And then whether or not I uh, build the inside, so it makes a, a narrower box or even whether I leave this the mat board in there I'm not quite sure just yet we'll see how, as it goes but basically all we need is a piece of molding I've got molding that we can reconfigure these are cuttings so I'm going to show you uh, one that I've already reconfigured and so that we can get to this much faster so I've reconfigured um, a molding and I've cut an angle and painted it so I've, I've made a 90 degree corner here and then I folded the lip up. And what this is going to do is this is going to just sit right on the back of this. Now I've got a choice. I can um, use my glue gun and glue it to the back of the frame. Or I can take the stapler. Let's, let's try the stapler first. I've never used this stapler before. We can take the stapler and just stick a staple in it. Well, I missed. Okay, so we'll do the glue gun. I think I'm going to use this one. It's going to be a better fit. I'm going to use this. It's a better fit. I don't, that cardboard's kind of old. Yeah, so that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll just glue it on with the glue gun. Now, I've got a choice. I can um, use the glue and mount it to the backing, or I can, um, that's what I'll do. I'll, to keep it in position, we'll mount it to the backing. Well, I think my glue gun's uh, my glue gun's ready to uh, to give me some glue, so I'm just going to glue the back of this, put some glue on the back edge of this molding, and I'll go right around the corner and do some on this one as well, right there as well, a little on the side. And then just uh, put it into place. And put a little pressure on it. There we go. Our glue on the back of this, of this. I suppose I could have just as easily put it right here. That should be enough. Pull it in.
take this and put some weight on it. This one's fine. We just got a we just got a slight gap there, but that's okay. We can fill that in. The thing is, it's nice and strong. Or what we could do is take some more of our glue, and we could just come down the center with our glue, let it go over both pieces. So there we have it. We've made ourselves a shadow box now. I have to decide on what, what color I want this to be. I don't think I want it to be off-white. I don't think I want it to be black either. So we've got to come up with a make a decision here. Okay, I've taken everything apart. And the, the glue's dry. And um, now we've got a pretty, a pretty solid piece of foam core that I could use a little more uh, glue on the sides here to firm that up. But I can't find any more glue sticks, so this is going to have this project is going to have to go on hold. But what we did was instead of having a, a picture frame that would only hold less than a half inch of, of glass artwork and backing, now we're going to end up having a shadow box that will hold um, well. It's almost two and a half inches uh, going up on to, into the inside of that. So that's what we're going to end up with basically. Now whether we put shelves in here this way or this way, it doesn't matter. I might uh, put some shelves in here and, and turn it into a um, spoon holder. How's that? We could still add some, uh, some foam core shelves uh, with cutouts for spoons. We could probably get two rows this way. Then what we'll do is we'll hang it, we'll go right through the molding and into the frame, right through the plastic and go right into the back of the wood to mount screw eyes and we can hang that. Or we can hang it from the top. Or if we change it and decide that this is going to be the top, we can uh, attach uh, screw eyes to the top here as well. Since this is paper, I don't, we'll uh, try to mount it to there, but these will hold it and so will this. This is double strike down here. So we'll get back to this project once I find some uh, glue sticks.